This video is about how you list files from a folder with PHP. This can be very handy to know how to do when you want to, for example, make a block where you put your block content into separate files, or if you want to include files from a gallery or gallery files, so images that you want to include and put into a gallery. In my example, I have made a small block just two blog posts with two cars, an image for each car, and then a text. And uh, the two blog posts are divided into two article uh, sections. As you can see here, the markup, where I have uh, a H1 at the top with the name blog. And then I have uh, two articles, each one with an image, and then with an H3 as a heading. And then I have some paragraphs, which I, in this case, have collapsed in Dreamweaver, so it's easier to read. So I have my files here. This is my, my small block site. I have my block HTML, and I have my block images, and they have the names of uh, the same name as my title of my blog post. Then I have some styling. What I want to do is to transform this uh, this site into a PHP or dynamic site, which could look like this, uh, where I put out or take out my my blog post into separate files and put them in a into a folder called blog posts. And as you can see, I have the same name for my the image for the blog post as uh, as uh, the title or the file name for the blog post. The only difference is JPG for the the image and um, HTML for my text. That's that will make it much easier for me to uh, to find out which image will go into which blog posts. So this is a kind of simple way of making a blog. And then instead of blog HTML, I have my blog PHP. And when I use the extension PHP, it's possible for me to use some of those PHP functions that enables me to uh, to include those uh, blog post files and also give me uh, the ability to uh, to find out what is inside uh, this blog posts uh, folder so the um, the principle is this i have my blog html and in a few moments i will um, i will take out those two sections and put them into separate files then I would change the name of, uh, or I will create a new file called blog.php, which will make a loop. And in this case, I will make a for each loop. I will come back to that in a moment. And then I will include the files again. So it will look something like before, HTML-wise. And of course, also, it will look the same uh, layout-wise. So let's have a look at some coding. The first thing I will do is to make a block PHP file. And the block PHP is this file I will work with. I will make a blank uh, page or blank file, which I will make look similar to this block HTML. Then I will make a folder for my blog posts. So I can put out and take out my HTML from the, um, the block HTML file, and the first thing I will do is to make the audio ODE R8 HTML, and then after that, I will make my Jaguar, and I will put in take in my, and I will take this uh, section with the blog posts div, and uh, add this to my uh, ODE HTML file. As you can see here, now I expand the uh, the paragraph that all the text is there and I'll do the same for the Jaguar make a new file name it the same as um, my uh, JPEG file so I have the same name for my HTML and my JP JPG and now I have my content in my blog PHP, and I need to make a PHP 
script block so I can um, scan the folder for uh, and look which uh, blog posts are in this, this folder called blog posts and for that purpose I use the function scandia and scandia only takes one parameter uh, it can take more than but I will make only use one here and that will be a blog post the name of the folder and I will print out what's coming into this blog posts variable as you can see it's an array that holds all the uh, the the files and also a dot and a double dot and the dot and the double dot is uh, is something from the unix file system and i want to avoid that because if i try to include a dot or a double dot i will have a problem with php so in my loop i will make a for each which i will run through all the elements in the array and then i'll just try to echo out what is uh, inside this array and I will separate with a break, so I will have it on each line. As you can see, I have the dot and the double dot still, and I want to get rid of them. So I only have these two HTML files. And I can do this uh, in different ways. I will show you some different ways here. Uh, one of the ways is to ask if the blog post equals a dot or uh, the blog post equals a double dot then I would like to just continue with the loop and now and don't do anything if I use the command continue I'll just go down to the the end of the for each and then begin a new loop instead of asking if it is equal I could ask that it could be different from this um, dot and double dot and then I have to change the all to an and instead and I could make it I can see here that now I have uh, eliminate these two um, dot and double dot I could do it in different ways one of the ways is to um, to make an array called forbidden chars it can be called anything you like but I will call it forbidden chars and in this array I will put in those chars I would like to avoid and in this case it will be dot and underscore because sometimes my um, my Dreamweaver makes um, a folder called underscore notes so I will ask if it's not in this array um, this blog post if it's not found this dot or underscore then just echo it out so I'll ask inside this array is there um, an forbidden is a forbidden char so when I save this you can see that it's the same except for the double dot because the double dot is not inside this array so I have to either um, add the double dot to the list of forbidden chars then it's okay or I could do something else I could just delete this double dot again from my forbidden chars and then I instead can say okay let's give me the uh, the first uh, char the first character of the blog post and I could do that with the substring function that from from position 0 and 1 character it will give me this first character now we put this into a variable called first char instead then it's more readable and then I will ask if the first char is not in this array of forbidden chars, that means dot and underscore, then everything's okay. And I can see it works. It's the same. I get the same result as I did before. But to make it more readable, I would like to uh, delete the, uh, the uh, exclamation sign in front of the inner array. And then instead ask if this is found in the array, then I want to continue with the loop as you can see it's still working otherwise uh, I will just continue with my uh, echo so now it's time to uh, to begin to include um, what's uh, from the um, from the files in order to make the HTML correct I had to make this article as I had before in my HTML so I will echo the first an article 
and I will conclude it. I'll just copy this line and conclude it with a slash. And then in between, I will uh, include this um, blog post that I will find in the folder blog posts. And as you can see, when I save it, and I have my two uh, blog posts that I include from the folder blog posts. But in order to make it look nice, I'll just um, add my styling from my HTML. So now it looks a little bit more nice. And then I need my images. As you can see, I have my images here and um, fortunately I made it this way that uh, they have the same uh, name, let's say title of the file, and then they have different extensions. So now I have to find out how to get the title of the file. And I use the PHP function explode that takes one uh, string and then explodes uh, it into uh, elements in an array. And in this case, I split the string with the dot. That means I can split it into uh, the first section and the last section. As you can see here, when I print it out, I get an array with two elements, one with the Audi R8 and then one with the HTML. I want to get rid of the HTML because I want to put in .jpg instead. So I will, um, as you can see, I have the same name here. Uh, audio R8 JPEG. So now I can make um, a blog post title, which I will take the blog post array and ask for the first element, which is number zero. And then I'll just echo it out to check that it's okay. As you can see, now I get Audio R8 or Jaguar E type. And then I have to make the image, the image file. Um, and it will be the blog post title. And then I will add the .jpg. I can make it a little bit easier. I have to put in blog posts, uh, blog, blog images in front of it. And then I can just uh, delete the double quote and the dot because then it will be one string when it's when it have double quote outside. And down here I will make a, an image tag and use the image variable as my source. And remember to use single quotes inside a double quote string, otherwise it will not work. So let's have a look. Yeah, I have my image. And it's even a little bit flexible. But I need some styling or I need a class, I guess. Yes, I need the class blog post image. So it will uh, scale down. So now it looks almost like before. I think I only need to add the H1 at the top. And then now I have this block and over here I can just go back to my block HTML and have a look just to compare how it looks and now they look completely the same. And the main feature in this um, this block is this loop I have made where I loop through all these blog posts I may have in the blog post folder. I get the blog posts with the function scandia, I mean this array of all the files in the folder. Then I get rid of the dot and the double dot and the underscore, and then I make my my image where I explode the string uh, to get the title of the blog post and make the image so I can display this image that goes for the blog post. And then I include the content of the blog post with the include function. 